guys were curious chicks and we love to travel anywhere from a long weekend to up to three weeks and we've noticed that when we travel it's probably best that we pack light and just minimize the number of stuff that we bring so today we're going to share with you some tips and tricks that we've learned along the way let's get packing in order to pack light you're gonna to wanna to get the most use and wears out of your clothes. So the best way to reuse the clothes as much as possible without getting them too dirty is to have to wear base layers. So base layers are good. You need to make sure to get the right materiality, ones that are moisture wicking, odor resistant, easy to wash and fast drying. So this one I picked up at Uniqlo. It's very lightweight, very um, seamless and very comfortable. And so you could virtually just clean it very easily in your hotel room and it'll dry practically overnight. And it also doesn't take up much space in your suitcase. I also picked up these, this underwear made out of the same kind of lightweight material, very comfortable, very fast drying. When it comes to jackets, you'll probably want to get a feather down jacket, which will keep you really warm in cold weather. This one's actually from Uniqlo, but it's quite affordable. There are also other companies that sell feather down jackets, such as Columbia or Patagonia. And you just take the jacket, you can fold it up. So as you can see, the feather down jacket fits perfectly in the little bag and it doesn't take up much space in the suitcase. So it's really important to bring just a minimal amount of very versatile pieces. So very neutral colors of bottoms to go with a lot of solid neutral colors, complementary colors of tops. So doing that, you can get multiple combinations and not have to bring so much. Another way to pack lightly is to find a midway point in your trip where you can do a load of laundry. This will save you the number of clothes that you bring on the trip. You just have to bring half as many as you would normally. Rather than bringing bulky padded bras that take up a lot of space in the suitcase, you might want to opt for bralettes. They're a lot more comfortable in humid climates and they take up a lot less space when you pack them. Another good option are tank tops with built-in bras. These serve as two-in-one, so instead of bringing a bra and a tank top, you have two-in-one ready to go. Free up some space in your suitcase by using vacuum seal bags. All you have to do is put your clothes inside the bag, push out all the air, and it'll reduce to a fraction of its size. Don't you hate how shoes take up so much space in the suitcase? Try foldable shoes such as teaks. Another thing to do is to roll up some socks and use the shoes, the unused portion of the shoes, as storage space so you can maximize the amount of space in your suitcase. And to kind of eliminate stinky odors within the suitcase, you might want to put them in a plastic bag. Toiletries take up a lot of space in the suitcase because there's so many little containers. So it's important that you use containers that are three ounces or less, especially if you want to take them on a carry-on. When it comes to shampoo and conditioner, it's always good to try to do a two-in-one if you can, especially for like a shampoo and body wash, then you only have one bottle. And it's good to try and use all the hotel shampoos and conditioners and all the things that they offer, but if you don't like the ones that they offer, then you can have a backup one for yourself. Silicone travel tubes or other small containers that you can just buy at a store such as Daiso uh, will allow you to put product into it where there's no travel size available for that item. Other items which are small travel sizes such as deodorant or toothpaste or sunblock are good to have as well. And I like this downy wrinkle release plus because it's small, it's under three ounces, but it also eliminates odor, it freshens fabric, uh, it's a static remover, and it's also an ironing aid. In order not to overpack with makeup, try just one look throughout the life of your trip, something with neutral colors that will go with anything that you bring and wear. The other thing is to buy ready-made palettes that are all of the colors that you'd want and just sticking to those colors. If you can't find one that you like, maybe look into a customizable palette. Some of your favorite brands might offer that. And ideally, you would want to get one that offers eyeshadow, blush, lip, and brow all in one. The other thing you'd want to do is look for two-in-one. So this is a powder and a brush by Bare Minerals in one. 
The other thing is to look for travel sizes of any brushes that you need to bring. Personal care items and appliances can take up a lot of space in your suitcase. So you opt for smaller versions of it, such as mini flat irons, or small hair brushes, or even disposable razors. A lot of times men, if you wanted to have those electric shaving razors, a disposable razor will take up much less space in your suitcase. For you readers out there, instead of bringing traditional paper books, you might want to opt for Kindles, iPad minis, or Nooks. When traveling internationally, you're most likely going to need a travel adapter. And oftentimes, these will take up a lot of space in the suitcase. So what you might want to do is check with the hotels that you'll be staying at and see if they have an adapter that's free of charge that you can use while you're staying there. Going to the beach on your vacation, beach towels take up so much space. And so if your hotel doesn't offer beach towels to use, and if you're really insistent on bringing your own towel, opt for these microfiber towels that are often used for camping. They're very lightweight, very thin, and they dry very quickly. And they'll take up virtually no space at all. When you're packing, make sure you only bring I need items instead of what if items. What if items are things such as aspirin or band-aids or other over-the-counter medications that you can easily get in the place that you're going to for probably relatively cheap and you can find it very easily. If you plan on bringing a lot of souvenirs back for family and friends, consider a foldable duffel that you can pack with you and when you need it because you're exploding out of your suitcase, you can put it all in here. So the next time you travel, you might want to keep these tips in mind. We wish you safe travels and have fun. If you like this video, give us a thumbs up or subscribe to our channel. And if you have any other tips that you want to share on how you pack lightly, please leave us a comment below.